and today we are going to do a review video on the Multiverse XL Kong Skull Island. So, so this is my opinion, Godzilla and 2014. Do Godzilla King and Monster Godzilla Skull separate things? And what I think of Godzilla 2014? Um, it's amazing. So, what do I think of it? Well, this is not... Well, the movie is really good. Like, it is, like I like the movie so far, but... Like, I, mean, I love Godzilla's design. But it is one of my least favorite ones. Because, like, it doesn't say what's going to be in it. And I for and I don't really like the movie design. Take back what I said about the movie design being good. I like, I like Godzilla's design because it would get improved. But if there's only two fights, one of them's really brief. And the second one is, like, has a bit of the female Mewtwo just chasing him. This is more like a remake of the first fight, except not as brief. The first fight I would I liked a bit, but the second fight was pretty good. But I didn't like the chase parts where the female Mewtwo was chasing the guy who blew up her eggs. Forgot the name. But they would improve the design. And I like the bit where he constantly uses the atomic breath on the female Mewtwo. That was amazing. And I love, and my favorite scene was when Godzilla slammed the male Mewtwo into a building. So why would I rate this out of 10? I'd have to say it'd probably be a 6 out of 10. So it would. And yeah. Six out of ten. That's what I thought. So. But what's going to end the episode? Bye.